In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Boolean shapes to create all of these logos. So for most of these, I'm using a rectangle tool. So as you can see, I started with a rectangle. I extended the edges into place. I'm also holding the shift key when I rotate to lock it at 15 degree increments. And I'm just going to fine tune this. It's not going to be perfect. But then I'm going to hold shift, select all of them, go up to the Boolean icon at the top and click it. And now I have a single shape from that. Next, I'm going to use the polygon tool to create a triangle and then I'm going to rotate it upside down and then get it into place. I'm holding shift, by the way, to scale it proportionally. Now I need to lower the opacity slightly so I can see through it. To cut these shapes out, I'm going to use the rectangle tool, extend it, doesn't matter if it goes outside. And I duplicated that by pressing Control or Command D. Got that into place and I'm gonna union them first and then I'm going to subtract them from the triangle. This next one, I'm actually not gonna use any type of Boolean. I'm actually going to use a feature that's in Figma where you can actually drag a little circle that's on the inside that allows you to form these semicircles. So I'm essentially just adjusting that, as you can see, and then rotating them all into place to create this single combined shape. I will do a single union Boolean at the end just to merge them all together. For this one, I am using the circle tool which you can get by pressing O. And what I'm gonna do first is actually create that intersection, the opening of the eye, which is basically by doing a Venn diagram with the two circles and then choosing intersect. I'm then going to take that intersection and subtract it from the main large circle. Then I'm going to add a smaller circle in the middle. Notice how I'm able to draw from the inside out rather than from the edge. I do that by holding Option or Alt and Shift. This next one, pretty simple. I draw my circle. I'm gonna reduce the opacity so I can see through it. I'm going to remove the rectangle by choosing Subtract. And then I'm going to add the circle. And that's all there is to it. For this one, I am going to form this almost entirely out of rectangles, except for the little circle. And so first I get all of these rectangles in place. Then I'm going to cut out that triangle, which it looks like a mouth of a snake, by subtracting a rectangle from that left rectangle. And then I'm going to subtract the circle by adding a circle on top and choosing subtract for that as well. Once I've subtracted the eye in the mouth of the snake, I am going to hold shift, select the other rectangles and combine them all together using union. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please hit the subscribe button to stay tuned to my next video.